We are live again. Welcome to this episode of Forge. Another episode Another today. Another episode. We've got some legendary SpongeBob master here. Go ahead and introduce <laughs> yourself. Well, if you want me to, I will. Yes, uh, welcome to Bikini Bottom, everybody. Uh, I started SpongeBob uh, almost 20 years ago in wow. 1998. I was the first one to draw him, uh, along with um, uh, some other artists, but I was the first one to draw him in Nickelodeon magazine. Wow. I was doing wow. the Rugrats at the time, and they called me in 98 and said, we have something right up your alley. Yeah. I have been a cartoonist for 20 years already, more, mostly in Europe. And I said, oh yeah, show me. And they showed me the first unfinished cartoons of uh, SpongeBob. And I was laughing there. It was at Times Square, you know, at the uh, MTV uh, building. And I laughed my head off and I said, yes, I want to do that. And I started the first story and with Scott Thomas. I was the inker only at the time. And uh, in time, I became the writer and artist of the comic books, not Jeez. the movies. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that was, that's a lot of fun. In the meantime, I was doing for DC Comics Scooby-Doo. Really? I still do Scooby-Doo. Uh, but uh, I've done Scooby-Doo like, concentrated for like 16 years. But I did all kinds of character, Ed and Eddie. Ed, Ed and Eddie. Um, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I grew up uh, with those guys. I did Cat Dog. <laughs> wow. uh, now, were these like your creations or did someone? No, no. Okay. Uh, my creations are European, like in, in, in France and Belgium. I'm Belgian, right? Uh -huh. yeah. So in France uh, and Belgium, I was known for my own comic books, which are, are Les Formidables, I'll say it in French. In English, the title is The Antics, okay. because it's about ants. Nice. And it's actually very well documented, so all the jokes People who know about ants will understand why I named That's some ants awesome. a certain name. <laughs> some deep ant knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. deep ant knowledge, yeah. you know. <laughs> Which is little knowledge, really, when you think about it. You know, <laughs> so... Uh, Man it's not big knowledge like, uh, you know, yeah. well, I can't say SpongeBob, <laughs> but... Um, uh, so I did Batman, Superman for uh, DC Comics too, but that wow. was mainly, mainly for uh, the style guides, which are the guides that you sell to companies that make t-shirts, lunch okay. boxes, socks, and, and all kinds of goodies. And that was a lot of fun. It was a more, you know, it was well paid because that's not something. Uh, it's not like comic books yeah. that don't make uh, as much money, <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I still uh, work for Europe. Uh, last year I did a whole historical comic book, well, graphic novel, very thick, and it was about the uh, Reformation of Denmark with uh, okay. Martin Luther. Interesting. And that style, if you look up my Facebook, you'll see that style is totally different. It's yeah. very intricate. You know, I draw cathedrals and yeah. 500 oh, wow. people fighting each other and boats and wow. ships. And it was like, it was a little bit of a challenge. I said, man, I, I started doing um, uh, realistic drawings with Jean Graton in, in uh, Belgium, who does a series called Michel Vaillant, which okay. would be translated Michael Valiant. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's about okay. Uh, race cars. Wow. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pop it, very popular. Yeah, very yeah. popular okay. there. It's a huge. It, it's actually uh, one of the popular ones like Asterix and Tintin. Yeah. Tintin being the oh, most popular of all. Tintin, man. Well, yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I may say something artistic, I would say that I miss uh, comic books that actually Uh, instead of being artistic uh, masterpieces, what I loved about Tintin is his camera was static and we followed people at eye level mostly. Mm, yes. yeah. And once in a while you had a nice panel like you would have in a, like a splash page, sure. but it was very rare. So the thing was, all the concentration was on the story. Story, yeah. And yeah, you absolutely. were watching that like you were watching a movie. Right. And as a writer, uh, that's my... my uh, My favorite thing. It's yeah. truly a graphic novel. Ooh, truly a graphic will. novel. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know, like uh, you, I, I, when I think of that, I think of different American ones, like, for example, Mouse, you know, uh, where you can um, enjoy uh, a, a comic that is mostly the story is more important. In fact, we always say, in, and at least in Belgium and France, they say it's better to have a good story in a bad drawing than a good drawing in a bad story. Yeah. 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 That's true. So that's It's gonna. I mean, you're gonna be sucked into it. You're gonna want to follow it where yeah, it goes. Right. If the story's good, exactly. everything else follows. And we feel yeah. that in film, Abs absolutely. It always and, starts and in, with the story. And in yeah. gaming as well. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. and in movies, a good story, you know, man. You can yeah. have the best actors in the world, and yeah. the, and the movies. Uh, yeah, the yeah. story's just not a flop. Good. It's gotta good. be. Yeah. That's the blueprint, man. That's yeah, the emotional is. blueprint for everything. Yeah. Story, story, story. Everything. Yeah. Everything we have since we've evolved is all about story. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Cavemen sitting around the fire, man. Yeah. 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 I was geeking out so when Vince told me that he was from Belgium because I yeah. spent nine years there, right? I uh, can't believe it. How <laughs> coincidental! I mean, small world, man. It's, it's I lived of New Roger, which is really like 
on the uh, tram number nine that goes yeah. to uh, yeah. you know the uh, mall and everything like yeah 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 and I was in Uclé I lived in uh, yes. downtown and oh, yeah. uh, the center and I, I got married at the uh, Grand Place really yeah, yeah. Grand Place is wonderful if you guys haven't seen something no I've never beautiful. been beautiful Grand Place is really so so the comics though and this is hard to explain if you're not if you haven't been to Belgium but yeah. Belgium is I mean huge on comics yeah and uh, it's called the Bande Zine and Every, I mean, they're basically all hard copy or hardcover. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Every really? comic you buy is hardcover. So I you're going to get Smurfs, mm-hmm. you're going to get uh, yeah. wow. Michel wow. Bagnon. They're, they're, they're keep those on your bookshelf. Yeah, yeah. Man. They're, they're they, they are very hard. I mean, we're talking not yeah. floppy, right? Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. Right. The collectibles like Asterix, Tintin. That you yeah. Know? So th- those are the formats. Tintin's is a little bit bigger. Okay. So you'd always have your Tintin's on one side and all the other ones on the other <laughs> right. side. But they're collectibles. They cost about, they used to cost, it's always around $10, 12 uh, So it's not like a comic book. But this being said, it's a keeper, and it's yeah. 44 pages, okay. except for Tintin, 65. So you're getting what you're paying for. So you get what you're yeah. paying for. Uh-huh. And to this day, uh, uh, doing comics, I will be honest with you, is a struggle here in America right now. Okay. And I, I need to go back to my to doing comics for, for French, which are more like graphic novels, even if they're funny. Yeah. Um, I know there's a snobism about the word graphic novel. I don't agree with that. I, I think that graphic novel is a lot more... It represents more what it is when you tell a story than yeah. uh, comics because it's not always comical, right? Yeah, We're, we agree with sure. that. Even Tintin sure. is, can be funny, but the deep story of it is, is a serious story. You yeah, know? Uh, yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, so uh, I think it's, it's not being pedantic to, to, to talk about, you know, um, graphic novels yeah, you know, yeah, as opposed yeah. to comics, which are just floppy little things. Yeah, you know? The back of a newspaper. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and basically, comics become, after four or five issues, become graphic novels in themselves when they're sure. sold yeah. uh, yep. in Barnes & Noble and so forth. So I, I think the uh, since it's still working in, in, a, in Europe, I think there's a chance there that I might start, you know, a little to start again. But I want to start my own series and stuff like that, like That's I used awesome. to do. Yeah. And yeah. here I, I can sit here. <laughs> you guys are a witness of that. Well, I can yeah. sit here. Nobody comes to my table. But amazing, but in though. France, people line up. You know, wow. so it's not because I'm a big deal. It's because here, the uh, celebrity is the character. Sure. Like SpongeBob is the celebrity. Oh yeah. In, sure. in Europe, the artist. Like I, I get invited to Norway and Denmark, and everything is paid for. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's great. Like I mean, I, I, that warms my heart that that yeah. that happens. Yeah. You know? right. And if you're American, yeah. so this is not to tout, you know, toot the horn of uh, Europe. If you are American, then you go to Europe and you're like the mega star. Yeah. Mega star. Yeah. yeah. Because there's still that American dream, that American uh, attraction. In fact, my name is Vincent Deporter. But Vincent, Vincent in French, is very Vincent. common. Uh. Yeah. So I started having success when I uh, wrote my second name. I would uh, sign Mike Deporter. Interesting. If you ah. Google me, you'll see Vincent Deporter. If you Google Mike Deporter, you'll see all my uh, wow. French stuff. Okay. And it, it's funny. It's just like the day after I started doing that, I started having some success. <laughs> which wow. is So there's still an American aura yeah. uh, over there. Uh, so, Power you know. Power name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I was... Uh, I was um, I often talked to uh, Moebius, you know, uh, Jean Giraud, who did Blueberry and, you know, Moebius science yeah. fiction stuff. And he would be, like, so humble about mm. it. You know, uh, he, he loved my series Romeo. Romeo is a little uh, comic strip I did with Philippe Rive, my old uh, and best friend and brother. We've done it for 25 years in the wow. women's magazine called Maxi, which is uh, the equivalent of uh, a more... Um, Upscale women's own, but okay. very more like L, you know, uh-huh. look more like L. Yeah, for 25 years we had a series. That's amazing. Yeah. So where so can people find you know your yeah. art and stuff that you're doing right now, your next projects? Um, and follow you, yeah. Right now, uh, in the kiosks or in uh, Barnes and Noble, you'll find my uh, uh, this week's uh, this month's uh, SpongeBob. Yeah. Okay. So uh, my, I have the first story in SpongeBob. That's great, my story, man. I think. Uh, and on social media. And on social media, Facebook. And uh, Instagram. And okay. what were those tags for? Th- uh, you just do. You, you know, if you Google Vincent Deporter, you'll have a bunch of stuff where you can okay. go to every. Use Twitter. the Google machine. My Twitter. I will. Yeah. I Google's will warn it. everybody. Google's I will it. warn everybody. My Twitter is a little different. My Twitter is my ranting on sure. uh, politics. Okay. Uh, okay. And on and on uh, more existential philosophy, and that's my uh, epistemology is my my okay. uh, hobby. So that's more Twitter. That's awesome. okay. yeah. So for those of you who are tuning in live and watching this right mm-hmm. now, if you want to see some of the coolest SpongeBob, zombified SpongeBob oh gosh, art in yeah. the world, come down, come to the back of the Game On Expo area here. 
uh, right next to the Forge booth and meet up with Vincent and see see him create it live, man. So. Yes. And I also Thank do you. yourself. I mean, if somebody wants to be caricatured as a zombie, we just might have we to, need to go you, get zombified, uh, boy. Get yeah. I can zombify you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome, Vincent, man. Thank you so there much you for joining us. Thank you for uh, inviting fun. me over. It was, yes. a, it was a pleasure. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Have you. a good one, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.